first contact with the trombone was kind of a funny mistake in a way. When I was uh, around seven, I was completely obsessed with the army. In England there's a big tradition of changing the guards and trooping the colour, which is where there are bands and, and marching soldiers. And the trombones were always at the front. And uh, I used to think it was so cool that the slides went down the way and they did and they stood at the front and they looked like, looked like the kings. From an incredibly young age, I actually have always totally loved classical music. I remember when I was about four or five, sitting way past my bedtime on the stairs, listening to my parents, listening to music downstairs, and just thinking it was the most cool thing, and what on earth is that noise that they're, that they're, that they're listening to? Wow, it's amazing. The stuff that I feel most at ease in, I would say, is probably the romantic repertoire. But then again, playing romantic music is like eating ice cream every day of your life. You want a break in the end. So one of the most fun things at the moment I'm finding is to just break totally free and play crazy contemporary music. Xenakis Kerin. When I first learned the piece and was just thinking, what on earth is this about? How do I get into this zone? That bit always made me think of a train. And I always did think about a kind of locomotive going over and over. It makes me feel very warm looking around. It reminds me of my grandparents so much. And it's, a, it's nice to be in places like this. You do, you feel like you're you're revisiting your past. I'm sure every grandkid goes to these places with their grandparents. I absolutely adore opera. So I'm always going to opera with my friends and listening to opera and uh, reading books about singers. I, I love all that stuff. So the trombone is an incredibly interesting instrument in that in the same way as the voice, its limitations, which it certainly has in a way that something like maybe the violin or the piano doesn't, um, is one of its most vital and emotional and moving aspects. It suffers from the same challenges as the voice, the fact that your lips are so connected to you as a person, as is your voice. All of these things make it very closely connected um, and make it actually, I think, moving because it's so human, it's such a human instrument to hear. Mm -hmm. 